Let's talk about equity financing. The objective of this section is to evaluate the advantages and disadvantages of equity financing. Sources of long-term financing vary with the size and type of business. A sole proprietorship or partnership acquires equity capital, sometimes referred to as owner's equity, when the owner or owners invest money in the business. For corporations, equity financing options include the sale of stock and the use of profits not distributed to owners. All three types of businesses can also obtain venture capital. Some equity capital is used to start every business, sole proprietorship, partnership, or corporation. In the case of corporations, stockholders who buy shares in the company provide equity capital. An initial public offering, or IPO, occurs when a corporation sells common stock to the general public for the first time. Established companies that plan to raise capital by selling subsidiaries to the public can also use IPOs. Monies from the IPO will be used to increase the parent company's cash balance and provide funding for growth opportunities and expansion. In addition to using an IPO to increase the cash balance for the parent company, corporations often sell shares in a subsidiary when shares can be sold at a profit or when the subsidiary no longer fits with its current business plan. Some corporations will sell a, a subsidiary that is growing more slowly than the rest of the company's operating divisions. When a corporation uses an IPO to raise capital, the stock is sold in the primary market. The primary market is a market in which an investor purchases financial securities via an investment bank directly from the user of the securities. An investment banking firm is an organization that assists corporations in raising funds, usually by helping sell new issues of stocks, bonds, or other financial securities. Although a corporation can have only one IPO, it can sell additional stock after the IPO, assuming that there is a market for the company's stock. Even though the cost of selling stock, often referred to as flotation costs, is high, the ongoing costs associated with this type of equity financing are low for two reasons. One, the corporation doesn't have to repay money obtained from the sale of stock. And two, the corporation is under no legal obligation to pay dividends to stockholders. A dividend is a distribution of earnings to the stockholders of a corporation. For any reason, uh, example would be if a company has a bad year, the board of directors can vote to omit dividend payments. Earnings are then retained for use in funding business operations. Although a share of corporate stock is only sold one time in the primary market, the stock can be sold again and again in the secondary market. The secondary market is a market for existing financial securities that are traded between investors. Although a corporation does not receive money each time its, so its stock is bought or sold in the secondary market, the ability to obtain cash by selling stock investments is one reason why investors purchase corporate stock. Without the secondary market, investors would not purchase stock in the primary market because there would no, be no way to sell shares to other investors. Usually, secondary market transactions are completed through a securities exchange or over-the-counter market. A securities exchange is a marketplace where member brokers meet to buy and sell securities. Generally, securities issued by larger corporations are traded at the New York Stock Exchange, or NYSE, or at regional exchanges located in different parts of the country. Securities of very large corporations may be traded at more than one of these exchanges. Securities of firms may also be listed on foreign securities exchanges. Stocks issued by several thousand companies are traded on the OTC market. The over-the-counter, or OTC market, is a network of dealers who buy and sell stock of corporations that are not listed on a securities exchange. Many stocks are traded through an electronic exchange called the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ is now one of the largest securities market in the world and is known for its forward-looking, innovative growth companies including Microsoft, Cisco Systems, and Apple. There are two types of stock, common and preferred. Each has advantages and disadvantages as a means of long-term financing. A share of common stock represents the most basic form of corporate ownership. In return for the financing provided by selling common stock, 
management must make certain concessions to stockholders that may restrict or change corporate policies. Every corporation must hold an annual meeting, at which the holders of common stock may vote for the board of directors and approve or disapprove of major corporate actions. Few investors will buy common stock unless they believe their investment will increase in value. The owners of preferred stock must receive their dividends before holders of common stock receive theirs. Preferred stockholders know the dollar amount of their dividends because it is stated on the stock certificate. Preferred stockholders also have first claims, after creditors, on assets if the corporation is dissolved or declares bankruptcy. The board of directors must approve dividends on preferred stock, and this type of financing does not represent a debt that must be legally repaid. In return for preferential treatment, preferred stockholders generally give up the right to vote at a corporation's annual meeting. Although a corporation usually issues one type of common stock, it may issue many types of preferred stock with varying dividends or dividend rates. Most large corporations distribute only a portion of their after-tax earnings to shareholders. The portion of a corporation's profits not distributed to stockholders is called retained earnings. Because retained earnings are undistributed profits, they are considered a form of equity financing. The amount of retained earnings in any year is determined by corporate management and approved by the board of directors. Most sp small and growing corporations pay no cash dividend or a very small dividend to their shareholders. All or most earnings are reinvested in the business for research and development, expansion, or the funding of major projects. Reinvestment tends to increase the value of the firm's stock while it provides essentially cost-free financing for the business. More mature corporations may distribute 40 to 60% of their after-tax profits as dividends. Utility companies and other corporations with very stable earnings often pay out as much as 80 to 90% of what they earn. For a large corporation, retained earnings can amount to a hefty bit of financing. To establish a new business or expand an existing one, an entrepreneur may try to obtain venture capital. Venture capital is money invested in small and sometimes struggling firms that have the potential to become very successful. Most venture capital firms do not invest in the typical small business, but in firms that have the potential to become extremely profitable. Generally, a venture capital firm consists of a pool of investors, a partnership established by a wealthy family, or a joint venture formed by corporations with money to invest. In return for financing, these investors generally receive an equity or ownership position in the business and share in its profits. Another source of capital for a startup business is an angel investor. An angel investor provides financial backing for a small business startup or entrepreneur. Often, an angel investor may be an entrepreneur's family member or a wealthy friend and provides the financial support needed to start a business. Unlike venture capitalists, angel investors are often focused on helping a business or an entrepreneur succeed rather than earning large profits. Angel investors often provide more favorable financial terms when compared with venture capitalists, bankers, and other financial institutions. In return for providing needed financing, an angel investor can become an owner with equity in the firm. Another method of raising capital is through a private placement, when stocks and other corporate securities are sold directly to insurance companies, pension funds, or large institutional investors. When compared with selling stocks and other corporate securities to the public, there are often fewer government regulations, and the cost is generally less. Typically, terms between the buyer and the seller are negotiated when a private placement is used to raise capital.